now discussing the different types of uh, knives and uh, what are the important features and properties related to the knife of microtome the knife of microtome is very important because with the help of this we can cut uniform and uh, thin sections uh, from the tissue and the embedded block various type of knife uh, profiles are available and these uh, various types they are for the different types of microtome for example and uh, these uh, types uh, the mostly the microtome knives or blades they are made up of steel the most important and most commonly used knife profile and uh, type is uh, type c or which is called the wedge profile these are the different types of knives Number first profile A is a plano concave. The second one is the biconcave or profile B. The third one is the wedge shape or profile C. And the fourth one is called the tool edge or profile D. Profile A, it is the plano concave type of knife in which one side of the knife that is the plane the lower side is uh, for example in this picture we can see here this side this is the plane side and the upper side this is slightly curved and concave this knife is uh, very sharp and uh, these are used for the these were previously used for cutting uh, soft uh, tissues nowadays this type of my uh, knives are less frequently used and they are not in the practice in the labs the biconcave are uh, profile b type of knife this type of knife it is concave from both the sides and uh, it is used for usually the rocking microtome this type of knife they are uh, not that much rigid and during working this uh, vibrates so this vibrating is uh, not required and this can make problems during cutting the sections the third type of uh, microtome knife is the profile C or wedge profile in this uh, type one side uh, uh, this uh, wedge shape is plain on both, li uh, both sides and we, it is the most commonly and widely used in the routine histopathology lab because this type of knife this is compatible and uh, it, they can work in the different type of microtome and also this uh, knife is very easy to sharpen so th these are the qualities on the basis of uh, which uh, this is uh, very commonly used in the routine histopathology lab the last one is the tool edge or the profile D in which both sides of the knife are plain but at the cutting edge there is a strip this type of knife this is uh, mainly used to cut the hard tissues for example decalcified bones and these tool edge knives they are very difficult to sharpen and nowadays these knives are not uh, commonly used and they are not recommended the knife can be either disposable or reusable so the disposable blades are the disposable knife they are used in the labs to save time which is used during the sharpening of the knives two types of disposable blades and disposable knives they are used one is called the low profile blade and the other is called the high profile blade in low profile blade this is used for cut a small biopsy or tissue that is usually soft 
and high profile blade it is used to cut the tissue which is uh, from the range of firm to hard for example uterus heart and cartilage so these are used for such kind of tissues the advantages of disposable knife is uh, that this knife is uh, very easy to replace as compared to the reusable knives and it is replaced within a second this type of knives they are not sharpen because they do not need to get sharp and the overall cost of disposable blade system is low as there is no need of any knife sharpener or coarse powder to sharpen the knife the disadvantages of disposable knife that uh, not uh, these type of knives are not very rigid like ordinary kni knife so vibration effect uh, is present by using disposable knife which can make uh, our smear uh, a slightly distorted or a slightly rough as compared to reusable knife so these are the advantages and disadvantages of disposable knives the different materials which are used in the knives number first is the conventional knife and conventional material which is these knives are usually uh, made from a very high quality carbon or uh, steel and the hardness of these knives is in between 90 to 100 weakers hardness scale the diamond knife these knives are very costly and uh, used to cut epoxy resin blocks uh, for uh, electron microscopy these knives require a very special uh, uh, care during sharpening and the third type of the knife is a glass knife and they are used for the ultra microtome to cut very hard tissue and to cut thin tissue the cutting edge of this type of knife they are parallel to the one surface of the glass the different angles they that are made during and formed during the knife and the block and the microtomy process the first angle is called the rake angle the rake angle this is the angle between this perpendicular line and the level of the upper level of the knife this angle when increased so a tissue section its preparation is made easier by increasing the angle uh, by this type of angle this is about the rock uh, rake angle another type of angle is the clearance angle or the angle of clearance this is the angle in between the lower bevel of the knife and the surface of the block like we can see the angle of the clearance this is the lower angle of the knife and this is the block so this is the clearance angle and this angle is usually about 5 degree this angle is related to with the friction between the block and the knife the lower the angle of the clearance the less will be the compression on the uh, block and the block will not be disturbed and it will easy to make a thin sections from the block the bevel angle it is the angle in between the two planes of the knives and the last one is called the cutting angle this uh, angle it is formed when a straight line is formed by intersecting the two planes of the bevel you have learned about the microtome till next lecture allah hafiz assalam alaikum